Hey, what's good, y'all? She ran Miss Mystical Rose, and in today's video, <sighs> we're gonna see if I can straighten my own hair. Um, I always try to do this to no avail because I feel like, for one, I don't always have the right tools, which I think I have the right tools today. And then the other issue I run into is like, I don't be having the patience because y'all, I have a lot of hair. Like, I think it's like 4B toward the roots. This is the um, result of a flexi wire set that I did a few days ago. So, um, yeah, we're about to wash her <laughs> and uh, do a little wash and condition. I just, today is Friday. I just washed her on Sunday. So, um, I wasn't going to shampoo, but there's this daggone gel, the Auntie Jackie's Flaxy Gel. Girl, if you don't know, that gel makes my hair so flaky. <laughs> If it's your first time stopping by my channel, what's good? Welcome to the best channel ever. I mean, what? But no, uh, my name is Michelle. I go by Miss Mystical Rose. And I basically create videos to help you create your optimal life experience. So if that sounds like your type of party, go ahead and subscribe. And yeah, let's go ahead and get this party started. This is about to be such process. Fingers crossed, let's hope for the best. Ooh! Okay, let's wash because I really don't need y'all in my mix of how I wash my hair. So, this is the finished product. Um, like I said, the root is definitely a tighter curl from like all my new girls, like back here. And then you see on the ends, it's just a little more straight, y'all. Uh, I've been kind of hacking at my hair. Like, you see all of this? I've been just cutting at all of this, y'all. So, <laughs> my hair is probably pretty darn uneven, but it'll be all right. Um, yeah, but as far as the products, I really like these two. I used almost all of this because I have a lot of hair and my hair is very dense. So I did use like most of this. This was really good. This is the Gold Series by Pantene. The shampoo smells really, really yummy and fruity. And then it also didn't leave my hair feeling stripped. So I really appreciate that. I really love this one. Um, and then this conditioner was pretty good. And then I followed it up with this. This stuff is really good, y'all. You just gotta like be careful not to use so much. Cause if you use too much, girl, your hair will not dry, okay? It just won't. My hair looks crazy right now. All right. So, like I was saying, I haven't always had the best luck trying to straighten my own hair. So, I did go out and get, like, a new blow dryer. Um, the blow dryer I had was, like, uh, how many watts? I think 2,000. Um, this one's 2,300. So, I was like, forget it. We'll just get it. I got this from my beauty supply store. Um, and it was $41.99. Yeah, me. So we'll see how this works, y'all. Like, and then my other blow dryer, you know, the comb piece, I have bought, excuse me, I have bought an attachment from the store, from the beauty supply store last time. And the attachment, it just didn't work, right? It wouldn't lock in place good, and it was just annoying. So I was like, all right, whatever. I'll just get a new um, blow dryer, bro. And that's just what we did, so. I hope this works out really, really well. I feel like it will. Oh my God, we gotta... okay. Now, my strategy is to do small sections, and we're just gonna go from there. And I'm going to use the combs. I'm gonna use this comb. The key for me is gonna be working in smaller sections because I have really dense hair. Meaning that, like, you take a small square of my hair, there's going to be a lot of hair in that little square. Um, so my hair is very dense, very thick. So I'm going to be patient today, and we're going to go through and see what we can do. Ooh. She's ready, baby. And I'm going to use, um, I have this olive oil heat protectant. This was a little hard to find at the store because they have a lot of, like, shine things. But they don't really have like heat protectors like that. So make sure you read the actual label because you might just be getting something to help your hair shine and not actually protecting. Y'all see how curly my hair at the back is? Yeah, girl. 
Um, so yeah, I'm going to mute. I'm gonna just do um a fast forward through this because um <laughs> no. So um yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do a time lapse or a fast forward through all of this because <laughs> I want to listen to music, sorry. get your stuff straight 2300 watts with one of these guys and this has like some type of titanium detangler comb on there you don't know but my roots feel like pretty good so and that's usually the most like tricky part i think when i finish straightening it it's gonna give me like that textured kind of straighten which i really actually am here for so I'm gonna have to make small sections in the bike. Yeah, I mean, I'm doing small sections. Now it's time for the rat tooth because I'm doing very small sections when I go through and straighten. But yeah, y'all, um, this is the last part of the process. Child. I'm ready to shave it. Yes, I am. I really want to lock my hair. I'm not, not even I want to, I'm going to lock it soon because I really just want my hair to kind of be on my head doing what it do. Like I just want my hair to grow on top of my head, little to no maintenance and you know, she's happy. I had locks before when I was a kid. So um, my mother was definitely onto something with that one because girl, a little breakage over here but my hair is pretty good for the most part i really really like what my hair is doing so yeah y'all let me go get my flat iron 
I need some water. So this is my hair, pretty much. This is the finished product. Um, <laughs> this is the best that's ever come out. Is it the best ever? No, it is not, but it'll do for now. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is just wrap it, cause I think once I wrap it and just like let it be wrapped for a while, um, that'll give us like some real vibes. But yeah, y'all, um, overall, I really want to cut my hair because I know, like, some of this stuff should not be here. But overall, it looks cool. So we're going to wrap it. The back looks a little crazy. It does look poofy or whatever. So, I mean, push come to shove. I'll just, like, do something cute with it for the weekend. Really, this is the look that I wanted was to just kind of like tuck it behind my ears and like just kind of wear it down. But if that doesn't work, then it don't work. We'll see how it looks after we wrap it. I honestly think that Sierra might not have been the best. I feel like it made my hair heavy. But what are you gonna do, right? trimmed like a little bit but I don't really know what I'm doing my hair would be looking crazy probably because and I know some of y'all might try to roast me in the comments I do not care girl we do not care but oh my, this is a supposed this is a scarf I got from Walmart girl I forgot to get a scarf from the beauty supply store so I tried one of these for Walmart, so let's see how it do. And then, you know, after you put it on, just like bring it all the way around, kinda, you know, just to really help it. Probably a few hours later, maybe. 
Um, I would say maybe in like four hours. We'll check back. We'll see what she's doing. But in the meantime, I can clean up my bathroom. I have some hair on the floor, but not a whole lot. Like I said, I usually, the reason why my hair is not even is because like, when I first wash it and stuff, and let me also say this, let me also say this, um, a big reason why I've really gotten more independent about my hair, like I flexi wild my hair now, my real hair, you know, I have my products that I've been using, you know, I've really started to do my own hair a lot because with the panorama, Y'all know the pan, the Panda Express, you already know. I don't say the C word, stop saying and writing the name of that virus. It's no bueno. But um, just with everything going on, I just felt the urge to be more independent as far as taking care of my hair. And that's really a big reason why I really like want to get locks eventually. Uh, but yeah. I think it's really important that we do get somehow, especially us ladies, you know what I'm saying? I think it's really important that we do gain some type of independence on doing our hair because you gotta have some styles that you could just whip up on your own hair. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta have some styles that you could just like, you know, whip up on your own hair. That way you're not always at the mercy of these stylists because these stylists be out of pocket, y'all. Must come wash, blow dry, braid it down. Like, girl, where's the garbage? Um, when I was living in Atlanta, there's a girl named Billions. She does really good work. And not only does she do really good work, Billions also, like, will wash your hair, condition it, and do all of that. But see, Billions is a real stylist. A lot of these chicks who be doing selling, they ain't going to no damn cosmetology school. Especially in Atlanta. I don't live in Atlanta no more. I live in, um, I live in Georgia, but I live like four hours away from Atlanta in the country. But yeah, like, the Atlanta stylists, girl. If you don't know how to do real hair, just say that. But, you know, it's to be a lot of them who don't actually be, like, cosmetologists. They just be, you know, they're always done hair. You know, I got cousins like that who, girl, they ain't going to no day going cosmetology school, but they be braiding and doing hair anyway, girl. Running it up, running it up. And I'm with that. Shoot, hustle, girl. You been doing hair all of that time? You can do my hair, girl. But yeah, these are the um, other attachments that came. You should always have this called a concentrator nozzle. You should always have something like this. You should never be blow drying your hair with just this on your hair. You should never. You should always have at least this one as a concentrator nozzle. But yeah, well. I don't know why I'm talking to y'all right now. I could have been talking to y'all while I was doing my hair, but I really can't walk and chew gum. So, I mean, I could, but I just wanted to focus on what I was doing. Overall, this is the best straightening my hair has ever come out. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and um, just finish cleaning my bathroom. And I'll check back with y'all in a few hours. We'll unwrap it, see how it's laying. I think she's gonna be swaying by then. Just give her a chance to like lay down, settle in, you know what I'm saying? I think that'd be really good for her. But yeah, I'll see y'all in a few hours. Um, I'm about to make some cookies, clean up, and just hang out, girl. So yeah, we'll check back in in a few. Hello, it's the morning after I wrapped my hair. Um, this is the best my own straightening has ever come out, so I really like won't complain. Um, I would say my biggest piece of advice for everyone is to be mindful of the products that you use because I feel like that serum definitely, I don't know, it might have been like a little too heavy. Um, but also I did cut some on my hair. I'm sorry for the echo, I'll be brief. <laughs> but I did cut like some on my hair because it needed it. We all know it did. Um, and if it's one thing hair does, it's it gross. Okay, look. 
So I cut it some more, wrapped it, went to sleep. I just woke up, that's why I look a little crusty. I'm about to have some um, of my green juice because she's 30 and she's giving 23. And um, she's gonna be young forever. So we drink green juice in the morning to promote that, you feel me? But overall, I'm really happy with my hair. It's Labor Day weekend, so I'll probably vlog too this weekend. I really wanna get my nose pierced and I wanna get my knuckles tattooed. So that would be really fun. But thank you so much for coming hang out with me, girl. Um, I feel like I didn't do much in this video, but you know, we'll do better. We'll do better next time. Thank you, girl. Um, like, comment, share if you care. I'll see y'all in the next video. Mwah. Love you. Beautiful. You're gorgeous. You're amazing. You're wonderful. I love you. So does God. And stay awesome. Mwah.